I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 9th of May. We're starting off this day with wet weather, but improving conditions are likely later today. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the Tuscaloosa Skycam where rain is falling. Over on the eastern side of the state, a look at the lights of the city of downtown Gadsden where uh, some light rain is falling there. And Haleyville, for the moment, is dry up in Winston County, but they should see some rain pretty shortly. There's the water vapor satellite view across the nation. We've got drier air not too far away, northwest of here, and that will be pushing in here this afternoon. So we'll forecast rain this morning, then gradual clearing this afternoon as the rain shifts down into South Alabama. There's the radar at 434 this morning, and you can see mostly light rain in spots. And again, the cold front north and west of here, up around, uh, well, between Memphis and Tupelo, with that band of heavier showers up there. Later today, there could be some strong storms well to the south of here. There's the standard slight risk of severe weather from southeast Alabama down around Dothan and Geneva, up through parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. And the rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday evening through the weekend. This is suggesting rain amounts of about uh, one half to one inch. Look at the good rains over Texas. They could really use that. That's very beneficial for them. But after uh, this morning, we'll be dry for a couple of days. In fact, tomorrow and Friday should be gorgeous. Here's the uh, modeling. This is the OZGFS valid at one o'clock this afternoon. Two players. We got the trough developing over the east and the upper low south of Phoenix. And that upper low south of Phoenix will hold the key to our weekend weather and early next week. But that big trough will be pushing a cold front through today. Now, there's the surface look. And this has got the front still up around Nashville at noon. I think the GFS is a bit too slow. We think the rain here should be ending during the lunch hour with clearing this afternoon. And noticeably cooler today. In fact, uh, a lot of folks won't get out of the low 70s. Tomorrow, just gorgeous. We'll start the day around 50. The high should be in the mid to upper 70s. Low humidity, brilliantly sunny skies. Just fantastic. Same thing on Friday. In fact, the uh, GFS is printing 49 for Birmingham on Friday morning. Got to love that. And we note the rain over Texas. Let's go to Saturday as we kick off Mother's Day weekend. We've got uh, the Texas disturbance slowly coming our way. Down below that, the moisture is still awfully skimpy. So we're thinking Saturday will be mostly dry, partly sunny with only widely spaced showers in the high close to 80. But on Sunday, moisture levels increase. The chance of rain increases as well. Scattered showers and storms may be numerous. We'll see, but definitely of the two days, Saturday looks drier. And then next week, look at the surface low developing down around Mobile Bay. And that looks pretty wet, uh, cloudy with a good chance of showers, maybe some thunder. On Tuesday, the surface low moves up into uh, Georgia around Columbus. We stay fairly wet. And look at that. Wednesday of next week, a week from today, an upper low over the Tennessee Valley. And if that's right, that would keep the weather cloudy, kind of showery, and cooler than average with highs in the um, low and mid-70s next week. So the first half of the week looks a bit unsettled. We'll check the end of the forecast, May 24th, light northwest flow aloft and down below that. Look at the deep surface low off in the Atlantic. Looks like a cold front trying to come in here. But again, the great news, no sign of any major severe weather problems for the next two weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or on the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.